let's have some fun with it, man. You know, they 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 really hurting us right now between Vegas, between ESPN, you know, the prognosticators. They not really uh, they ain't feeling the kids. They not feeling the kids right now, man. It, it's 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 gonna be an ugly ugly season. Let's just be honest, man. It's it's gonna be an ugly season. You know, I'm seeing it's anywhere between. 23 to 29 projected wins. Um, you know, a lot of these podcasts and shows, they do their seasonal world predictions for the entire NBA. Let, let's do it for the Knicks, man. Let's have some fun with it. We can bring the chat into it, get people's predictions. So, let, let, you know, even though this is going to be a rough year, there's still going to be uh, some some contributors, some things we want to watch. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so so let's, let's start it off, man. I mean, I think defensive player of the year is going to be pretty – Pretty obvious, right? I mean, we only got one damn player that can play defense on the team. Now nah, uh, we got two. Who? We got we got Lance. We got Frank. Oh, this guy said Lance. Yeah, and we got uh, we got um, a little bit of Mitch. A little, a little money, Mitch, right? Yeah, right. a little bit of Mitch. So, so who who you think Ron, is take who you Ron, think is Ron taking? Shot maker. Who you, uh, who you think is gonna be our <laughs> defensive defensive player of the year for the for the Knicks this year? Oh, it's gonna be Frank though. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be Frank. I, you already see it. You already see it happening in the preseason. It was a, it was a, it was a play when Frank was guarding like three or four people in the span of three seconds. And I've seen Lance do the same thing, but I feel like Frank does it, and sometimes he gets blocks on point guards and things like that. So I feel like it's gonna be Frank between the blocks and the steals and the hustles and the rotations and the deflections. I feel like that's gonna be our defensive player of the year. And Fizz came out and said that that's his goal to make him an all team first defender. That's what he said. That's that's what he said, man. I listen. I agree with you on that. I I think. Um, oh, let me get to myself over here. I think it'll be Frank. Um, I think you know Money Mitchell will come in in spurts, but for the for the eighty two game season, uh, the defensive player is, is no doubt gonna be Frank, man. It's yeah. gonna be Frank. I don't I know like if Mitchell he... have the most spectacular blocks of the year, yo. I can't wait to see how many three pointers he blocks this year. Yo, dude, this dude is a beast, man. A beast. I never seen no like. I ain't never seen no shit like that, man. Yeah. Been a block three pointers like that. That's gonna be fun. And Fizz said, Fizz said that uh, you know, he, he his goal is to make Frank the uh the old all defense first team all defense, man. That's what he yeah. said. Like I think I think you had alluded to that, right? Yep. Sure did, man. And and he also said, for, in regards to Wednesday night, he said um, Frank is uh, is gonna be guarding Trey Young quite a bit. I don't know if that's gonna be in the starting role or he he still hasn't figured out the starting role. But yeah. um, he he says he he says he's gonna be he says he's gonna be guarding Trey Young uh, quite a bit. So take that for what it's worth. I don't know if that's any indications of anything. We just don't know. That's gonna be a tough cover. He kind of. Trey Young kind of flamed him a little bit. Yeah. And in, in, in the summer league. Yeah, he, yeah, he definitely um, he, he did. But Trey Young, he, he's having a decent preseason as well. Yeah. He's having a decent preseason as well. We got Jeremy Lin returned to the Garden. You know, what oh, I mean, we boy. can't we can't let Jeremy Lin uh we can't let Jeremy Lin pop off on us, man. Does can't. he have knees yet though? Yo, I mean, the last preseason game he dropped like 20, 24 and five in like twenty minutes. So they okay, seem like he's been he's anxious back. to get back. Yeah. He had that okay. patella injury, um, and uh, yeah, so Jeremy Lin will be back. Everybody in the chat, who, who do you think? Who's your candidate for, for Knicks Defensive Player of the Year? Leave it in the chat below, and uh, we, we could go through some of the chats, man. Shout out everybody in here. Yeah. Cody, T. Williams, uh, Sean Kaplan, Mike Hawks, Joe Curry, Alex Collins, all the way from Ireland, man. Shout out Alex Collins. Carlos, what up, Carlos? Who you, who you got, JLs? Oh, I got Rich Jim. I got Joshua Saltzman over here. That's a new new name I don't recognize. Uh, Drip Bayless, NYK. Drip Bayless over here. Yeah, the best good. name, the best name in the business, man. Drip, Drip Tyrone Reed was here early. Was good, Tyrone. Facts, facts, facts. Rich Jim was asking when you will receive the email after yeah. tonight's show. I'm basically going to collect all of the emails from the Google form. I'm going to send it over to Statement Games. They're going to create the, the private games and send you the link to the private game. So you'll have it by tonight, later tonight, early morning. You'll have the link. Check your email. Check your spam box. And um, if you have any trouble, just, you know, you, you know where to find us, man. You could always email us. You could um, contact us on social media and we nice. will um, and, and we'll get back to you. Uh, Pettisons in here. What's good, Pettisons? Black Caesar. What's going on? All right, JL. So we did defensive player of the year, right? What about um 
Six man. Who you, who you think? Who, who's your candidate for six man this year? Six man is a hard one. Like, who's your candidate for six man? Like it could be. It depends on who's starting too. First of all, that's what makes it harder. That's true. It depends on who's starting. So go ahead with go ahead with your starters, man. Because, You're the coach. I think. I mean, I think Trey's gonna start at first, at least. Yeah. And Frank is gonna and they're gonna flip it with Frank later on. That's my prediction. So you, you so, okay? So you think they go with Trey first? You know, I think I feel like it's gonna be Trey first, and then okay. Frank is gonna and Frank is gonna take over eventually. But um, so with that in mind, I feel like Trey showed us some stuff this season in, in the preseason. I feel like they're gonna bring him over eventually after the forty five days is up. Yeah. When when they move when they move Courtney Lee or whoever they want to move to make a Ross spot for him to get him permanently, and I feel like it's gonna be Trey. I think uh, I'm going Frank as a starter. I think I think Frank is a starter, and I think it's Trigger Trey, six man. I think it's Trigger Trey, six six. Will come off the bench and be the six man. You spoke on Courtney Lee, um, and we'll we'll get to Courtney Lee later on. Let, let's get through these these awards, but yeah, I I think they're gonna go with Frank. I, it's still you find it interesting that that Fizzell still hasn't locked in a starter at the one. You, you think he's playing mind games with the Hawks? I mean, I don't know. Hawks? I don't know. I think he's just confu- I don't, he confused. Is he confused himself? Is he confused himself? You see how how do you see how the Knicks fans are battling? Like we battling, man. We battling, man. Yo, we I, battling. Me, we battling because there's no real, there's no real clear cut answer here, man. It's true, there's man. There's a negative. There's a negative. The positive to to each player that starts. Yeah, yeah. Trey starts. The defense falters. Frank starts. The offense probably the falters, falters a little bit. It's true. It's true. So it's like, it's, Wait, which makes the case, person. which makes the case for the right. two of them to, to play together. Exactly. And Moody, if Moody starts, then everything falls apart. <laughs> <laughs> but but yo, Moody from a from a point guard prospect, to me is better than both. He's not he's not great, but I'm talking about the tools in terms of facilitating, in terms of pushing the pace. Yeah, man, but geez, man. He's, like, but he's just not there. He, he's just not potent- there. Man. Potentially, but you gotta grow at some point. You yeah. can't be at the same point you were when you got drafted. Well, look, man, the bottom line, this is what the rebuild looks like, man. That's it. He, yeah, he, you can he, see Frank's. You can see Frank's grown. Yeah, you can see you can see Trey grown from the GD hair like Moody. What are you doing? I don't know. Listen, man, I I wish him the best, man. But um, I don't know. I don't know what's up with Moody, man. I don't know what's up with Moody. But you know what though? I, I find it funny though with a lot of Knicks fans who because I'm reading like the comments and the um you know shout out Max from the Bronx. We we uh cut up Max's phone call from the other night and um you know Max wanted Frank to start and I posted that as a video on Twitter and YouTube and Instagram just to get you know more reactions more opinions on you know team Frank team Trey and you know listen the opinions are very polarizing man but I just find it interesting to the to the Trey Burke people who's like yo this is a no brainer it has to be Trey it has to be Trey in my devil's advocate I'm like if we're rebuilding if we're here to develop, why don't we go with the guy that we drafted last year? Like, isn't That's it? I, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, Jay Ellis. Isn't it important to see, okay, by the end of this year, we will have a better idea of where he fits? That's the thing. This, this is this. That's the, that's what's wrong with the keep what you kill philosophy. You know, because the keep the keep what you kill philosophy says whoever's best suited for this situation plays. But if we're thinking about who. Developing a young guys and people who can be playing with Porzingis once he gets back, then you go with just throw Frank in the fire. So these, he's trying to fail. I feel like he's trying to mend these two philosophies together. And he's not even saying he's not even saying the other part of philosophy that he might be, that he might be considering because I, I think he just wants people to fight hard. I think that's what it is because yeah, you can you can tell he's thinking about that in the back of his mind because Kevin Knox is starting. And he hasn't been playing yeah. that well. And, and to Max's point, he said, listen, if we're going to give Knox that kind of leeway, um, why not give Frank that leeway? And, you know, people countered by saying, listen, we don't have that much options at the three. I agree with that. But uh, like I said, my point is I love Trey, friend of the program. You know that, JL. Uh, shout out Trey. Yeah. Um, but my thing is, if, we, if we're if we developing, then we can't have this uh, short-term outlook like, okay, we need to see Trey out there. Put Frank out there, win or lose, pass or fail, so we know at the end of the season we can say, okay, 
He's a better lead guard. He's a better off guard. He's a better off the bench. He's better at the three. We need we need to know. We need to that, know, bro. That, that might be the best move for the for the franchise going forward because you know he's gonna be here past next year. Um and, and I'll bring Trey just, back next it, year. I'll bring Trey just, back next year. It, it, it just it just conflicts with the keep what you kill uh, mentality. I think that's the problem you're having right here. That's the, that's really what the problem is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, man. What do you, you guys think in the chat, man, about the whole point guard dynamic? I think it's interesting. I still think all three is going to play a uh, significant amount of time. Even Baker's going to get some minutes here and there when they need a spark. And um, and I think you, you're going to see the platoon, um, situational platoon, you know, in times where we need to stop, you're going to see Frank out there down the stretch. You may see Trey out there down the stretch if we need instant offense. I think Fizdale's going to continue to tinker with the rotation all year. Facts. Rich Jim says cancer defensive player of the year. Oh, boy. Rich, <laughs> Rich, Jim, Rich Jim really throwing it out there, man. That's hot take right there. Rich, Rich Jim really throwing it out there, man. Uh, we got a call from 931. Yo, 931, you're on the line, man. Hello? Hello? Yo? Yo? All right. This dude's playing on the line. Um, dude sounded like he was 80, man. Yeah, we're gonna start screening the callers too, man. So all that all that jokes and fun and games is gonna be gone. By opening night, the calls will be screened. So if you're coming with prank calls, if you're coming with da da da, you're not gonna make it through. You're just gonna be waiting on hold for a long ass time. So don't even try it, man. All right, JL. So we so we did defensive play, we did six man. Um rookie of the year. Is it safe to say Kevin Knox? Um, in the NBA wise and on Knicks wise, is it, is it safe to say he Knicks wise? Do you think he he runs away with it from Money Mitch? And NBA wise, what do you think his chances are? Um, it's gonna be a mountain. It's gonna be got D I eight and you got Doncic out here, but Kevin Knox. Yo, Luca Luca Doncic is looking like a beast, boy. Yeah, yeah. Luka. Knox is gonna have to wake up. Yeah, but there's, I mean, there's another sleeper on the Knicks too. Trey's the sleeper on the Knicks. Well, I mean, on the two-way, though, that's the thing. I mean... That's the thing. I said, it depends if we bring him up. Yeah. The only, only reason I'm saying he's a sleeper is because you're looking at his numbers. I forgot what the exact stat was, but there was only three rookies. Yeah. Who averaged over, what, 18 and 50%, and Trey was one of them. It was Trey, eight and then... Isozo, Isozo. I'm, I'm going to yeah. pull that up um, right now. Um, three, four, seven, you on the line. What's going on? What's up, Cody? Cody, what up, man? What up? Nothing much, man. Um, so here's is, here is what I'm struggling with, right? Mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, sorry, guys. Intro, uh, Cody, um, president of the Hicks Fan Club. President so of the Isaiah I'm, I'm Hicks the only member. Fan Club. I'm still the only member, so feel free to join me on that. Just, just FYI for everybody. So looking oh, for, for members. Um, my podcast was saying here's exactly a good thing. That. <laughs> uh, oh, I said he flamed me on my podcast for saying Hicks, Hicks got better. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. See, um, I, I believe, I believe, I believe. Um, so here's the thing. I think that Fizz trusts uh, Frank. I think if you look at all, so if you compare Trey Burke's minutes to Frank's throughout the five games uh, they played, I think Frank probably outpaced him by like 10 minutes or so. Right, mm -hmm. um, especially the last game, where I think Frank played 29 minutes and 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 Trey played about 20 minutes. So Frank trusts, uh, for, uh, I mean, Fizz trusts Frank. So it's not like you know the coach is down on him. Um, I think, but I've never heard Coach uh, Fizz says, you know, Frank is my god. I think he keeps saying, well, you know, I have the option of playing him all over the place. And I think part of maybe what he's struggling with is. It's clear that if you look at Frank and, 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 and Burke, for me, because Burke did not out, that outright win the competition, Frank won, right? Because, to me, Trey Burke... Yeah, nobody really veteran. established themselves 100%, man. Nobody really established themselves either. Right. But but if you if you Trey Burke, you're, you, this is your season to get paid for next year, right? Like, yeah. You're not even sure about your NBA career. You're going to come in and you're going to win the battle outright. He didn't do that. It's true. You know what I say too. You know what it is too. Sorry. I, like, um, I feel like Frank played well, but he didn't play. He played. It's not Frank's fault either. Fizz played him a lot off the ball, so he played him. He played him ten more right, than right. Burke, but he didn't play him 
as a shooting as a point guard. He played him as a wing for the most part. And then he right. and his, his spots he played point guard. So that's best, what makes it Yeah, yeah. Yeah, his best game was the last game. That that was his best game. But I think it's because once you tell Frank like you are the guy and you, you're able to build him up, he plays with a lot more confidence, right? I think right now if you have him all over the place, that's okay. But I think you have to see him at the guard position. If you want to, you can move him all, all over the place afterwards, but he got to know that he's coming in as a primary guard. That's right. right there. Yes. I mean, you, you, yes. you can play him with, with, with Trey. You can play him with everybody else. But he's got to come in like, dude, you are my guy. Yes, I'm going to move you around a little bit because I had the luxury of doing that with you, but you're the starting guard for the New York Knicks. I think his confidence will, will – that will do wonders for his confidence. I'm not sure why Fizz is not doing that. Again, I, I think he believes in Frank, mm. but I'm not sure if this kind of confusion is going to help Frank. All right. That, that, that makes sense. Appreciate the call, I my dude. No. Yeah, I agree with you. Right. Yeah, go ahead, JLs. No, I agree because I was mentioning this before somewhere else, like – Frank, Frank to me still defers. Yeah, of course, of course. When when Fizdale said positionless basketball, whoever gets the rebound, you initiate the offense. When Trey gets the rebound, he initiates the offense. When Trey gets the rebound, he initiates the offense. When Frank gets the rebound, he looks for Trey or he mm, looks for mm-hmm. Trier. And then he goes to the corner. Or he looks for Lance. Like, or it looks for the, like he, <laughs> he looks for the bailout from yeah, Lance. He doesn't initiate, which is that one. It's that one missing piece for me to say, okay, Frank, yeah. yeah, like be confident, get that ball, initiate the offense. Just don't look for somebody else to. So sometimes I feel like take all the guards off and let him in, and just to see what he does. What he's gonna do? So he doesn't have to look yeah. for that guy. Get him, get him, like like Cody said, get his confidence up. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I agree with Cody saying, and I just think, listen, the lead guard position has been unsettled for a long, long time. We need to figure it out. I don't, like I said, I like Trey. I feel like his best um, asset to this team is as a six man on a, on a, on a good team. Um, and I think until then, we don't have a lead guard yet, and we need to figure that out. And that's why I want to put Frank at it first. Trial and error. If he, if he does well, he does well. If he don't, he don't. We have nothing to lose. We're not playing for nothing this year. We're not making the playoffs this year. Throw him in the fire and see what's up, man. You, you know what I'm saying, JLs? Yeah. All right. Um, to all the callers, we're gonna get to the calls in a second. Let, let's just breeze through some of these. So you think? So you think Knox definitely Knicks Rookie of the Year? And uh, where do you think he, he finishes NBA wise? NBA wise, I, th- I think it might be third. I think Aiton yeah. might take it. Aiton or Luca is definitely taking it. Luca look like he's ready to he's ready to ball out. I think Knox will finish third, third or fourth. Yeah, I think so too. I think uh, yeah. And my and Trey is my sleeper pick for that. Okay, okay, yeah. I I think third or fourth. I think Trey Young is gonna be in the running. I think Aiton will be in the running, and and Luca Doncic will definitely be in the running. Um, most improved. Who, who's your pick for most improved player? Frank. Knicks. Frank. Frank. Okay. Easy. Okay. You I'm already a... see it in the preseason. Yeah. Already... That's true. I'm going to go... Um... I might go Dotson. Mm. I, might, I might go Dot. If he, if, he, if he can get off the bench, if he can get off the pine, I might go Dot, man. That's the thing. That's the thing that's keeping me from voting him because I don't know what the minutes are going to look like between Courtney Lee. Like, I think he might be moved eventually. And then think yeah, two things have to happen. Courtney yeah. has to be moved one, and the coach has to realize that Moody isn't isn't going to produce. That's true. And, That's true. And then Dotson will get at least get their minutes. Yeah, I think. Dotson, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, because when because when Moody started to stink, that's when you started to see Dotson come in in the second quarter finally instead of the fourth quarter. I think um, I think in order to get this Courtney League trade done, and they're gonna need it. For those of you in the, in the Kevin Durant sweepstakes or want us in it, Courtney Lee got to go. Um, he has to play. That's the thing. That's the tricky thing, JLs. He has to play. He has two years left on his deal. I believe it's worth about 13 mil. I could go check on it. He They got to fatten him up. They got to fatten the pig in order to, to sell him. You can't have him on the bench. Ah, you, you know what I'm saying? You got to showcase yeah, him. Yeah, it's weird because he had a good year last year. So you think he had a good year. You feel like it should be good enough. But I guess it's... it's oh, got to play him. Dotson going to have to wait his turn. We got to get Courtney Lee. At, I like Courtney Lee. I don't say it like he's, you know, 
just a piece of trash or whatever. I don't nah, like to talk like that. Like Courtney Lee. It's business. That. It's business. It's business, every, Courtney Lee. You know that. Episode, yeah, it's business. If, yeah. I always say, if, I was clo- if we were closer to winning a chip, yeah. if he was like a piece away, well, I'd be like, I was go. Let's right. go, Courtney. But we're not. we like, in this, we were building right now. Exactly. So, you, so you're going with Frank. I'm going, I'm going with Dot. Asterix pending a, a, a Courtney Lee ouster, at least by the by the trade deadline. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, shout out everybody in the chat tonight. What, what's your picks? We ran through defensive player of the year. We ran through six man, rookie of the year, uh, most improved. Give me your picks. Leave it in the chat. Uh, how's, how's Periscope looking, JLC? You on the Periscope? Uh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me get on the Periscope. No doubt. Shout out to um, Bruce Wayne. Shout out Bruce Wayne. Mike Hawks. Joe Curry. Kareem Maloney in here. Um, uh, Ace, Ace Bez, what's good? Ace said, what, what do I know about Jamaica Ave? Come on, man. Come on, Ace. <laughs> Ace, come on, Ace. Uh, I was out on the Ave when, when the Ave was really the place to go to get your, your gear, your, your, your uptowns, your downtowns. When you actually used to be able to bargain for sneakers. Now, you got to beg them for, for a good price on the sneakers, man, because they, they're not budging on that premium. <laughs> Alan, what's going on? Carlos Omar Arroyo, what's going on? Where's everybody from too, man? If, if you're new in the chat, give me a hashtag new. And uh, also, state where you're from, man, so we, so we can shout you out. I'm going to go back to the phones too. Let's go to um, 646-YO-YO. Yo, Max in the Bronx, what's good? What's good, Max? How are you, man? What up? I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Appreciate the YouTube, though. You, appreciate it. Yo, Max, I didn't even know you you had a Twitter presence, man. You ain't even come on and, and promote your, your your Twitter where yeah. the people come. I didn't even know, man. I'm I'm, I'm fake humble. I'm fake humble. All right, that's cool. <laughs> that, that, that's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah, you know what? I I think it's 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 been cool. I think um one of the ways to to get more out of the live streams because it's so long. You know, some people aren't able to watch them from front to back. Uh, so I think what we're gonna do over the course of the season is we're gonna pull out. Um, our top callers of the night, you know, and, and repurpose the stream and, and just to get more conversation, more dialogue going. So nice. yours, yours was the pick of the week, man. You, you, that Frank article, that Frank video, uh, that shit got over 200 comments, man. Some good, some bad. Some do yeah, say F Max, who Max. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to our world, yo. Welcome to the world, man. <laughs> world. It's, it's all good, man. But yeah, what, what you saying <laughs> for tonight, like- man? So here's my thing, right? Yeah. So, you know, I speaking of Twitter, I argue with this older guy about Trey Burke all the time, man. I don't know what his name. I can't think of his name. Yeah. I'll give him a shout out. But if you're in the Nick community, you know this is the Trey Burke guy. This guy loves Trey Burke. Like, I'm Trey trying loves to think. Iverson. Is this it guy, Boris? Boris Trey Burke is a god. Yeah, I think it's Brutus or something. Boris, something like that, right? I think it's Boris, man. I think it's <laughs> Boris is Yo, the Trey. I love this guy. Yeah, Boris is the Trey Burke guy, man. So, so my thing is this, right? What is the big difference between Knox and the Summer League? Besides the talent, besides the obviously NBA has way more talent in Summer League and Knox in the preseason. What what's the biggest difference? The biggest difference is Frank was playing, and people talk about him being unselfish as a bad thing. But when you have Tim Hardaway and you have Ennis Cancer and you have Knox, three, I would say people who think offense before anything, you need somebody who's unselfish in that starting lineup. You cannot have Trey Burke doing, you know, the whole Iverson thing. The offense is gonna is not gonna run well. <laughs> right? Yeah. So you just gotta you have to be smart. I hope this though smart, you know what I'm saying? I hear him talking about, oh, I'm gonna put him at the four, I'm gonna put him at the three. Okay, that's cool. When other people are in the lineup. You have to start the guy. You have to. Also, I think that they're gonna have to. They're gonna trade Lee mid season, and they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to. Hazonia either is either gonna fail miserably, or he's gonna look like what he was supposed to look like. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna get to Hazonia later on, way. man. Because your boy Hazonia was like, they was asking him why he wasn't playing well. He he was basically like, oh well, I wanted everybody else to shine. <laughs> like, like, yo, my yeah, man, you you here in a one year tryout, my guy. You need to get yours. Yeah, get everybody involved, but 
that don't explain you not making the wide open layups or you know yeah, flipping man. and flopping all over the place. So that yeah, that's not because he was trying to get the, the I'll, pass on. I'll say this. <laughs> I'll say this, right? Yeah. Azonia has more talent than Dotson. But who would you rather trust is Dotson. Yeah, I trust Dotson. Yeah. Dotson's gonna come in, he's gonna defend, he's gonna shoot the wide open three. Yep. He's gonna do what his job, do your job. And that's it. Hazonia thinks he's like, did you hear Hazonia quotes Kobe. before? He got drafted. <laughs> Hazonia said, because Hazonia said he played for Barcelona, right? You know Barcelona yeah. has Messi, right? Yeah. He said, oh, you ever watched Messi? You ever watched Messi play? He said, no, Messi needs to watch me play. <laughs> he really said that. He said, he Yo, said that. His no swag in so his game is, is, the, is on balance right now. It's on balance, man. It, he's going to be one of those. It's like every year we have one of those guys on the team, man, who's like potential is, is here, but like he just not really there, like not really with it, man. He'll be like this year's Beasley, I think. But Beasley is way more well, of a beast. Beasley, had, Beasley, had the Beasley did have game. Yeah, way more game. You know what I mean? He just couldn't reach star potential, but Beasley had way more game. Go ahead, Max. One more point because I got to move to uh, the next goal. Okay. And the last point is this. The most improved player is going to be – my guy, Frank, because Frank yeah. is going to – because, you know, defense in the NBA is bad. So, Frank, all he has to see is a couple baskets go in, let him hit that 20-point mark one or two times, and then in his mind he's going to be like, oh, I can score on the NBA level. I don't have to be just a defender. Mm-hmm. And then I think that's going to open up his game because you notice at the tail end of last year, he started shooting more, his yep. points started going up because he got confidence. So I think he needs to hit that twenty point a couple times, and then he'll be he'll be what we think he is. That would be nice. That would be nice, man. I'd love for him to do it, man. But uh, hopefully, hear from you uh, Wednesday night, Max. Definitely call up, man. Thanks. All right, have a good one. Yep, and sign up for that jersey contest too, man. Sign up for the jersey giveaway. Yo, um, jersey. What's the, what's the jersey contest? Oh man, Jay. Oh man. Oh, man. Boy. <laughs> this guy Max this guy Max calls here every day. I just went through thirty minutes explaining the contest. You must have came on late, Max. Just, no, 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 no. You know what what happened? I'm gonna tell you what happened. I was driving and I saw the alert and it said, Oh, Nick Fan T V. I said, Oh, my guy's on. So when I get home I'm gonna call. So I didn't hear the first like twenty minutes of the of the show. Okay. But I need to get on that jersey contest. Yeah, well, be, all right, well, definitely. I, I can't. That. I don't want to run back through it again because we want to run through the program. Rewind back to the beginning when you get a chance. Go through all the instructions. Everything is there, it's plain and simple. If you have any issues, just hit me up on Twitter or something, and I'll and I'll run you through it. But you have until uh, six p.m. Wednesday to to complete the contest. All right. All right. Good all right, man. You. Appreciate you. Max from the Bronx. It's a good call, man. He's always a yeah. good call, man. All right, um, MVP J. Ellis, who's going to be the guy on this team that this team cannot do without? Who's who's your guy, man? I was flip-flopping between Cancer and and Tim. Yeah. And I, uh, in my mind, and I settled on Cancer. That's mine, too. That's I settled mine, too. on Cancer. I just feel, I feel more confident that he's going to give you the points and the rebounds and the percentage is still going to be high. And he'll be a steady force for us. Yeah. And he'll keep us being – he'll keep us in the rebound battle. We got thrown out in the rebound battle. Shit. In the last keep game. us in it. It's either him yeah. or nothing, man. Yeah, it's pretty much him or nothing. Those last God, two damn. games, we missed him. Yeah, big time, big time. Yeah, with with with, with uh, Tim Hardaway Jr., I mean, we, we will miss his scoring if he doesn't produce. Yeah. Um, I feel like there's more – I feel like there's more of a chance of somebody else picking up the scoring – then more of a chance of somebody else picking up the rebounding. And yeah, it's not, it's not there, man, unless it's Von yeah. Lee or, or Money Mitch. But, you know, Money Mitch is young. Uh, can't count on him for that. And Von Lee, eh, you know, he's going to he, – I was looking for Von Lee to be kind of that – fill that KO void. But I feel yeah. like he'll do it in spurts, but he's not going to be as consistent um, as, as KO was as a backup five that I, that yeah. I like last year. But I think my MVP of the team until 
um, until KP comes back, obviously, he's definitely going to be camping. You know, that double, like you said, the double doubles. Um, last year, he was the tops in the league, offensive rebounding. Um, most of the time, that's what kept us in games when our three point shooting was so terrible. It was our second chance points. He gives you those second chance points. You know what I mean? He may put the Matador, Matador D, but um, he's, 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 a, he's a warrior out there, man. I like Cannon. He, he's going to be recruiting everybody all year. You know that. And um, yeah, yeah, Cannon, Cannon is definitely going to be. Um, We'll see if this can coach him up to, to uh, show up the defense. We'll see if he's about it or not. Nah, I'm not worried about it. Nah, I'm not worried about it. So, last question 82 games in the regular season, how many wins in the next game? I want to say. We're going to get 52, baby.